Hi everyone, this is number five of um, my pockets and tucks and embellishments or whatever I'm doing for um, the journal that I'm working on right now and it's called A Winter's Tale by Artie Mays. It's not called A Winter's Tale by Artie Mays but it's Artie Mays that make, makes it. So um, anyway, i done a video, well I thought I was doing a video because I'm doing a triple pocket um, page and I've got all my envelopes done and realised I hadn't hit record <laughs> so you need a 6x6 six six piece of paper and you will score it at no, on your scoreboard you'll score it at uh, 3 and 3 quarters you will punch and score and you will follow that line around I'm sorry I'm just not going to waste a 3 pieces of designer paper for something I'm probably not going to use and you punch and you score and you go on if you've seen my first video on how to um, line an envelope you'll see how to do um, how simple it is to make the envelope on the punch board so this was I'm working with six by six and this is obviously the shape of it before you glue it all down etc so I'm sorry I didn't show you that but Sally me didn't didn't hit record so these are the three envelopes that I have all from the kit and um, printed them out full size because I will use the other pieces for other things no doubt in the journal <coughs> and um, I'm not going to line um, the inside of these but I am going to decorate the flaps of the envelope. Now at this point you could go ahead and ink them all up but because this is a kind of white and um, blue I've only added a little bit of um, like vintage photo or whatever just here and there not a great deal because I'm gonna uh, there's gonna be coffee dyed paper in it so I don't want to make everything I might change my mind and add uh, some once it's done so anyway <clears throat> sorry this this tutorial is probably not the greatest because I've messed it up from the beginning so you're gonna have this is my my dummy page and as you can see the envelopes will fit on the page just perfectly now I'm hoping right I'm hoping that I can get three in to this. If not, then it's just going to be. See, that's actually quite nice. So that's three envelopes on the page. Then I've, um, with the kit, you get um, other embellishments, and this one here is an owl in this little frame, and then we have a little squirrel. And then we have a stag, and I've punched out, or die cut, I should say, three scallop circles. So I'm just going to move that to the side, and I'm just going to glue these. And what I'm going to do afterwards is go around the frame with either some glossy accents or some stickles. <clears throat> and I'm just going to glue that on. Um, someone had asked me in one of the other videos what, what tacky glue I was using. It's just this one. You can get it. You can get it online. You can get it um, in Hobby Craft here in the UK. Um, the range, um, Amazon, etc. But you can use any tacky glue at all. I would suggest a tacky glue because the like PVA glue is is very wet, very very wet. Um, <clears throat> whereas this is, like I say, it's a lot. It's a lot thicker. It dries a lot quicker. Um, and I've never had any problems with it. You can um, you can use Fabri-Tac, um, is it Aileen's Tacky Glue? Um, I've had that before. I've got little bits of, I've got lots of glue, um, but I do prefer that one. <clears throat> so if you don't have an envelope punch board, you can find templates online for envelopes. Um, you can use ready-made envelopes, ready bought ones. If you have lots from your card making day or you just buy them anyway. So um, these are just gonna, I'm gonna glue them onto there just like so and obviously not going right down because I've or right to the edge because it, it's going to cover. I think I'll put that one on here. Yeah, just here. So we have that on there. And just make 
making sure that my squirrel's down the bottom. And you don't go right to the edge. I wouldn't anyway. Well, I'm not. Right, where do we... Oh, this little squirrel needs to be that way. And that's him there. And then the stag. <clears throat> and he goes right there. So back to the page. Um, I would want like him up here. That would be, oh no, obviously I'm just going to glue like there and there on there on onto the envelope and make sure the flap is not tucked in there. So that would be like so. Maybe just a little bit more. But obviously I'll work that out better. Sorry, I was probably way out of frame then. I'll probably work that out better when I'm actually going to glue it down. But that will be my next page. So it's a triple envelope. The first person I seen do this was Nerissa Bailey. She had um, in one of her journals from quite a few years ago um, the uh, envelopes and she had loads of stuff tucked in it and it was a, a, a used envelope. And a used envelope? A used journal. One of her own personal journals and I like that idea and I've used it a few times. So that's where that idea came from and that's me using it with this kit. So like I said, um, the link to Artie Maze will be below <clears throat> and I'm, I'm going to make a playlist on this so you you can go over, I'll add the playlist below so that you can go over and see all the other ones that I've done and I'm going to start doing that when I do tutorials now is just put them into a playlist and then it's easy for you to find the playlist and then you can watch them all because even I get from videos from years ago that I know I've done stuff and people are asking me where is that video? And I'm like, I don't know. It's there somewhere. And because I've done like 800 videos, then it is really hard to cipher through them all and find the exact one. So having these playlists up are going to be a good thing for me as well. So I hope this is helpful. It's easy peasy. Anyone can do it. You could, I can do it. You can do it. Um, so I will see you on the next one. I've got a few more pockets to do, which I will share with you and I'll be back soon. Bye.